Hello guys and girls, uh, something different for you here. This is um, a little mini quad um, that was sent to me by Banggood and uh, they wanted me to do a quick review on it. But uh, I'm going to do that later on. But what I want for first thing I thought was, um, why not do a string test on it? Now, <laughs> this is something you do with the really big quads. But I thought, why not do it with a mini quad? Now then, just got a piece of wood, two bits of dowel glued into it, and a little piece of cotton goes from each end. It's thread through the actual uh, motor mounts. Um, you make a triangle and then one single string to each post. I know it's not exactly um, even both sides. And I've put it on this um, stack of videotapes just to make sure that when it comes out it's actually level. Alright, so I'll take those out for now. <clears throat> and I'll show you what I do. Now then, there's a, there's a transmitter. It goes with the quad. I'll put the details on later. But um, when you start it up, it should, if not, fly somewhere vertical. And when it flies, you can get an idea of why it's not flying the correct direction. Um, now if I put it on half throttle, so it can just hover, like that, it shows you, with the controls, you can actually trim it. Now if I just trim slightly one way, it moves. And trim the other way, it moves again. So that's left and right. Forwards and backwards, if you look closely, it twitches forwards and back. Okay? Now then, <clears throat> yaw is on this side. You can hear it change its tone. And the yaw changes. Now I'm going to have to really set this up properly again, but this just gives you an idea of how you can actually set it up um, without the uh, confusion of the directions. Now, while that's hovering there, I'll just show you what I've done. I've, I've redrawn these out so it's nice and big, so as I can see which way it goes. Okay, so that gives you an idea of what to do. I know it's crude and it looks like something at a play school, <laughs> but it, it helps. It does help because then you can have a quick look rather than uh, go to the um, Chinese, Japanese, whatever the instructions are, which are very small to read. Now, there I can see, just, just a quick touch on it, right, left, forward, back, uh, up, down, and stop. And it falls upside down. Now you might have to start this by, um, oh I think the battery's gone dead, <laughs> never mind. Um, <clears throat> that's simply how to do it. Uh, if you get any questions, um, don't forget to ask below and I'll uh, explain in more detail how this works. But you can do this with any mini quad, it doesn't have to be this particular model. Um, you can do it with any particular model you want. Uh, this is a Pocket Drone 124. I'll put the details underneath if, uh, if you want one, and uh, I'll give you the links to, to buy one if you want. But um, it was sent to me by Banggood uh, to do a quick review on it, but the review will come later. But I just wanted to show you how to actually set this up the easy way rather than go through the paperwork um, making crashes and find out it goes left or when it goes right and all this sort of thing so hopefully that's going to be helpful for you when you actually see the review but that, um, that's basically what it is pretty neat little machine, I, I, I love it, it flies around the house, brilliant and um, frightens the hell out of the dog but <laughs> he, he's grabbed it a couple of times played with it but he hasn't done any damage to it he hasn't chewed it or anything like that but there you go that's what it looks like Okay, I'll just zoom that in, uh, if I can find the remote, there we go, I'll just uh, zoom that in so you can see, let's move that across so you can see which one it is, there you go, that's a better picture of it, okay, and that's how big it is, it's very small, lovely little thing, but you can see where I've put the string, you've got one, one line there, and the other line there, but you can make a triangle, that's fine with cotton, but you must have one single line to each pillar um, to make it uh, hover correctly. And then you can dress the trim, forwards, backwards, yaw, whatever you want to do. And then when you take it off, uh, you put it on the table. As long as, like I said at the beginning of the video, you make sure that it's level before you do it. 
that is vitally important because if you just start it up like that it will try and fly like that and that's not what you want it it does find its own level so there you go I hope you find that helpful and um, I'll do the full review later on watching take care and good luck bye bye